Be sure to check out FIFA Coins online for the best deals on FIFA Coins from a website that you know that you can trust. What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to another one of the special squads videos. Today we have the Arsenal Invincibles of 2004. Sadly, we couldn't actually get every single player that was included in the squad uh, because of course they're not on the game, but we did get some close replacements like this layman guy in goal. This is basically the team that played the most games during that uh, during that season. So anyway, just before we get stuck into it as well, I do want to say there's a link down below to someone called GCII Messi. He's doing a similar series, but on the Creation Center, so go and check him out, definitely. He's uh, pretty awesome, but anyway, in goal we have Lehman. It's a random central defensive mid. Only got zero chemistry because he's an absolute beast and was absolutely appalling in goal. Left back we have Ashley Cole. He was actually in the team. It's the proper one and he's on nine chemistry which is quite nice. Centre back we have Fraser Campbell. It would be Sol Campbell but of course it, he isn't in the game anymore. He of course was a terrible defender but with 87 pace not too bad I guess. He only had one chemistry as well. Second centre back is Colo Torre actually in the team. Uh, six chemistry not too bad. Uh, scored a couple headers and pretty good defensively. Right back we had this guy, Lore. I guess that's the closest one to Lauren I could get. Not ma not much chemistry, just six. Uh, 81 pace, pretty terrible uh, indeed. Left mid we have Jeremy Aliadier, the actual one. Uh, only three chemistry, so he of course was absolutely terrible. Second centre, that's not right. Then in centre mid, we have Vieira. This guy, of course, isn't the actual Vieira. He has an extra I in his name, but he got six chemistry and was actually all right. Scored quite a few decent goals and has 88 pace. Second centre mid is Gilberto Silva, the actual one. I can't believe he's still playing, but he got six chemistry as well. Uh, not very good, very slow, good defending, I guess, but that's about all he has to offer. Right mid, we have a random Edu, uh, 62 pace. Just, there's no point even looking at his stats because he's so bad, and he had one chemistry. Centre forward, we had Burkamp, the only Burkamp we could find on the game. And again, this guy was absolutely terrible. Six chemistry, but it felt like he didn't have legs. He was so, so bad. And then up front, we have the main man, Thierry Henry, absolute beast. Uh, Four-star skills, he was actually pretty good. Uh, it only shows that we played one game because we played most against subscribers and stuff like that. But he was actually all right, and you're going to see some of the gameplay now. So let's move on to that. So, as you can see on this bit, we tried playing in the Gold Cup and it just was not successful at all. We lost 11-0. Absolutely appalling. So, most of this gameplay is actually against subscribers or other YouTubers with similar chemistry teams. We just thought it would be a nice way to get gameplay and make it a bit more even. Uh, and, in general, when we were playing against other 50 chemistry teams, the team wasn't too bad, I guess. Like, Henri was an absolute monster up front with, far and away, the best player. Absolutely mental, just like he was in the actual season. He was so, so good. Uh, Kolo Torre was pretty decent. Ashley Cole was alright. Uh, Vieira scored a few nice goals. I think there's a really nice one coming up here, but other than that, the team was really appalling. Edu, absolutely terrible, but that isn't the whole point of this, is it? The whole point is to show off this team and like the, the Invincibles, and any Arsenal fan, of course, would love this team. Now, I do not want to recommend anyone to buy this team, because you won't win games. I'm just going to straight up say that you will not win any games if you use this team at all. It's terrible for wins, but it is something like unique, as this squad build is supposed to be so as I said at the beginning it's basically just the 11 players that played the most games during the season not even the best 11 because like Ali Adier is included and he was without a doubt not the best player in that season so there's some players like Perez and stuff that sadly don't get an inclusion but um the team did follow closely just to how it actually played out in 2004 as well, with Omri getting most of the goals, Vieira doing most of the assists and all the defensive work, Gilberto Silva being the rock in the middle. It was very, it played very similar to the actual thing, but the only difference was Dennis Burkamp or the, our pretend Burkamp on this game was absolutely appalling. He was one of the worst players I've ever used on this game. He missed like open goals, easy shots, everything. He was absolutely appalling. So, yeah, <laughs> it's so so bad. Don't ever get him. But I genuinely would recommend. You using the ordinary Henri in uh, general teams because he was a really, really good player. But we're coming up towards the end of this episode now, guys. So I do just want to quickly say thank you to any uh, any of the subscribers that played us with their lower chemistry teams. Thanks a lot for that. It really did help out. Leave a like if you enjoyed this episode of this new series. Give me some more suggestions down below with teams you'd like to see, whether that's more X-like teams like X-Real, X-Spurs, or some other random cool ideas. Let me know them in the comments below. If we get to 400 likes, that'd be amazing, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.